Indeed, once again, a huge congratulations must go to Leanne Pace for flying the South African flag very high and producing a remarkable comeback to take the South African Women's Open title. And here's to looking forward to many, many great tournaments to come next year. But right now, we switch gears and uh, uh, get into the spirit of giving back to the community and spreading joy as the annual Santa Shoebox Project is back and bringing joy in the form of shoeboxes filled with gifts for underprivileged children. Now, this year, the team from Good Hope FM has joined hands in this impactful Christmas gifting campaign to bring the season cheer to young boys and girls out there. And we're joined by Irene Peters from the Santa Shoebox Project alongside Megan Kiefer from Good Hope FM to tell us a bit more about the campaign. And we're all very, very excited that you are doing this. But uh, for those that might not know too much about the Santa Shoebox Project, tell us a bit more, Irene. I, I understand it started in 2006 and it's grown in leaps and bounds since. Good morning, yes. Uh, the Santa Shoebox Project collects and distributes gifts at Christmas time to underprivileged children all around South Africa and mm. also in Namibia. And the project is pretty unique in that it's not an anonymous gift. Um, every one of these boxes you'll see um, has a label on it yes. uh, with a child's name on it. And so the gift um, goes to a specific child. And I think, you know, many people want to do something for charity, something give back to their community and often don't know where to start or what to do. Mm -hmm. So this project really gives them something uh, that's achievable, it's not expensive, uh, it's great fun to do with your children. Um, and it makes a profound difference to a specific child's life. Yeah. Well, it's amazing how it's blossomed into what it is now when you were telling me earlier on that when you started, it was just about making, you know, little box gifts and giving them to, to a place. And uh, now Good Up of Him is on board as well, Megan. And you're going to be involved in something called, I'm going to say this, the Little Elves Pop-Up Life Science Shoe Box Shop. Okay, <laughs> well, well, what exactly is that? And uh, where is it going to be taking place? How can people get involved? Okay, so Good Up of Him created a pop-up store to kind of give them uh, people a one-stop shop in yes. order to get all eight items required to fill a shoebox. Okay. So all the items that are required in the box is available in our pop-up shop, mm -hmm. and it's um, at Canal Walk until the 26th of October. Um, it's in the center court, so people can pop down there and purchase all the items in one go. There's ladies on hand to help wrap the box, yeah. and you can decorate it, and you can post it, which we will then hand over to um, the ladies at Santa Shoebox Project on the 31st of October. Yeah. And how, how many children are you aiming to reach this year with the campaign? 100,000 children this year. 100,000 yes. children. Okay, and, and so far, how far have you come? We are sitting at about 96% um, wow. of this target. Yes, so we have about two weeks to go. Uh, many small towns still needing to reach the local uh, target, which might be 10 boxes or yes. 5 boxes. So, yeah, so we invite everyone to go have a look at the website and see if they could um, perhaps be part of it, contribute still those last few boxes to make the target 100,000. Yes, that's wonderful. 96% South Africa. My goodness. Well done for coming to the party. Um, you were talking about the eight items in the box. Yes. What are these eight items? So the eight out? items are essentials like a toothpaste, toothbrush, face cloth, soap, uh, a toy, an educational item, and a clothing outfit. Yes, and, and I think it, and some sweets and some sweets, and some sweets as well. Sorry. A little <laughs> treat as well. Well, that's why the toothpaste and toothbrush is there to take care of that. Yeah. But um, how can, how would you like to encourage South Africans out there to get involved and um, contribute to this to this worthy project? You know, we um, even though our target is a hundred thousand this year, once we run out of names, because that's always a big thing. You know, you run out of names. I still wanted to do a box, and you don't have any more names. Uh, we've we have other initiatives which are really linked to the project uh, this year, which is uh, people can buy a rain poncho for children who live in the winter rainfall areas, so that they can walk to school and be dry and stay yes. healthy and stay in school. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a virtual box option, which means that um, people who don't live close to an area where they can drop their box off can do it online and buy a virtual box. Um, and then we have our Santa Shoe Box Legacy, yes. which is um, helping us, you know, teaching our caregivers of the more than a thousand facilities that we support um, skills. And our skill uh, running into next year will be basic first aid, yeah. which will benefit not only the children in their care, but the wider community as well. Fantastic. And I'm sure that the, the, the reactions and the results you've seen from this project over the years has been absolutely amazing. The smiles on the children's faces is, is what's most important at this time. Before you end off, yes. I want to do challenge espresso oh. to come down <laughs> <laughs> and fill this very empty <laughs> To the, to the little elves, uh, <laughs> little life size shoe box shop. Yes. All right, we have been challenged, and we must fill this one. Yes, please. Well, I hope we'll fill this one and many, many more. Indeed. Many Thank more. you very much, Thank ladies, you. and good luck. I hope that you reach two hundred percent of your target that you've aimed for this year. Thank I think you. our children really Thank do you deserve you. it. In fact, if you want to find out more about the Santa Shoebox Project, you can go onto our website, www.expressoshow.com. All right, now let's find out where in the world it's that time of a Tuesday.